of the culinary students that graduate, mm -hmm. you are never going to get out. Never no matter what. It's and, a life sentence. And, not, and you don't want to get no, out. No, you don't want to. You know, people talk to my children and they think, oh, your mother's still working. And they say, well, what are we going to do? My mother does what she wants to do. And I, this is my life, and that's what I like to do. I really like to do that. Now, my grandson out there, he has a He's car. sweet. Yeah, he has, he went to the car on blue, my dear, if you don't mind. And now I got to teach him a little car on noir. <laughs> a little black in that blue. <laughs> so, you know, and he's got his MBA, so he's got everything to move this on. But unlike some politicians, I cannot get out and leave you in a mess. I'm going to clean up my mess before I go, straighten it out and get it ready, and then he can move on. He can take it up a step further, and I, I would like that. In this restaurant, I'm so grateful to so many people. They helped me, like all those guys, you know. They take me along everywhere they went, and they were all qualified chefs. I was not. I was just a cook, and I still am just a cook. But they had all the qualifications, but they never left me out at all. Wow. This, yeah, we do one thing for chef's charity, and that's very clannish. You know, the chefs do that for a St. Michael's school. It's a school for, you know, kind of some old children and all. And they, we put up everything ourselves. We give all what we serve. We give the food and the time and all of that. So they never had a woman before. So, and then I'm still there, so, and every year I go, I say, I'm not coming back next year. People say, you got to come back. So when I tell them this year, mm -hmm. so maybe they'll let my grandson take my place. With you. With you. <laughs> maybe with, with you. me. But they're so clannish, they don't like anybody uh, to come aboard, you know. They keep that little crew going all the time. But it's fun.